Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today's video is sponsored by Vivo. Uh, Vivo is a company that sells a little bit of everything and they asked if I wanted to review one of their products, which I... Um, yeah, that was a problem because they have so many different products that it took me hours to pick something that I thought would be fun and interesting. Uh, well, I hope you think it's fun and interesting as well. Um, and it's it's nice and summery here and I built this pool last year to cool down and I thought well I need something more to cool down so over here on the table well we are running the pump here from solar power from over here and over here we have a refrigerator a car refrigerator and yeah that sound is me watering the strawberries they were very 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 dry so we could shut that sound off. There. So Vivo was really suggesting me to do a review of a uh, thermal camera, which I was actually in the middle of doing. So I suggested this instead and they did not disagree. So that was awesome. It's a rather big package. They came fairly quick from their European warehouse. I forget which country that was in, if it was Germany or Poland, but yeah, it was only a few days to get here. Why didn't I make a YouTube videos about holiday vacation spots? Spars and the best massages of the world? I wasn't thinking, right? And they had this refrigerator in multiple sizes and might have gotten a little bit greedy here. It's very big. <laughs> but yeah. How do I get this out of the box? Hmm. With effort. They don't break the camera. <clears throat> Oh, it has handles. I couldn't see that. So, it takes 12 volt and it takes 24 volts. And it's huge. And locked. Hmm. So, Vivo. <laughs> okay, so we move around to the other side to probably get a better view of it. So here is the refrigerator. Uh, it's 50 liters, 5-0. It has four cup holders up here and something here, which I do not know what is good for. Maybe they will tell me in the manual. You open the box and here is the 50 liter capacity and also a box of goodies. We need to figure out what's in here. This looks like there is an, an AC adapter in here. So yeah, we're right about that. AC adapter. And we have a 12 or 24 volt power uh, plug. And the AC adapter. And this is a 14.5 volt. So probably it takes anything between 12 and 24 volts. Yeah. We have a, a manual here with all the settings. It does have a display up here so it can do different stuff and yeah naturally this should be red and this looks English. All of it. So manual available in English and you can control it from your phone. Uh, it has Bluetooth. But let's just have a look at it from the different sides. Uh, this is a compressor refrigerator, so it, um, it has a compressor in here, so it does not use as much power as one with a plexer element, uh, but it could be more noisy. Um, as this is a big one, it has a carrying handle on the back here, so you can go with your cold beer. For a little walk, walk the beer, 
Oh, we need to get rid of the plastic here. That looks stupid. Carrying handle down. And I can see that this could become very heavy. The refrigerator and up to 50 kilograms of goodies probably in it. That could get heavy. So when there is nothing in it, it's actually not that bad. It can uh, can be handled. So, yeah. So we're doing this on a lovely sunny day because that way I can power this with solar power. And for that we're going to be using this system, which is uh, All Powers, who has made this box, which is uh, located underneath the table over here. I have. I've been using it a little bit to heat the pool. Right now it's charging back up. I've unplugged that. So we're gonna put that on the table and try and power the refrigerator. So here is the power station, the old powers. We have seen it many times before. It's not fun to, uh, to just play with a refrigerator with nothing in it. So we have our uh, test subjects here. We have a, a case of uh, Oyelix port, which is actually my favorite beer. And then we have a box of uh, Pepsi Max, sugar-free. So we're going to put those in the refrigerator. Uh, uh, must say this, uh, this needs some work. <clears throat> so, oh, I forgot to see that. There is a thing to, uh, to let out water if water has gotten in here. So that's very nice. Other than that, it's just a very big box. The, because it has a compressor, it's also able to freeze things and it's able to do it very efficiently. And the box should be very well uh, insulated. But I will put some beer and coke in here and we'll cool those down. It's a Danish beer, but we picked them up in Germany. Cheaper. First box is stacked. Uh, I could maybe I could do better. I'm not sure. Okay, that's two boxes uh, of 24 cans, and these are 20, 33 centiliters. So there's about 20 liters of uh, drinks in here right now. Uh, very inefficient. Uh, I think we could have a box more. So 30 liters of drinking in a 50 liter box. But yeah, if you uh, open them up and pull it in, it's not gonna be as good. <laughs> I'm sure. So let's try and power this. At the moment, the power station is happily charging up uh, through solar. It's at 86%. Um, this can both do 230 volt AC and it can do 12 volt DC. If you want to run a refrigerator like this, DC is way more efficient than AC. If we try and use AC, uh, the power station here will first take the DC in the batteries, convert it into AC, and then we'll send it over to the power brick uh, adapter for the refrigerator, which will again convert it back to DC. If we use DC, it's just gonna go DC, DC, and that is way more efficient. Uh, there's a really long wire here. It's great for everything else. Then, um, yeah, I think we have probably five meters. I'll measure approximately four meters. So we'll plop that in here. And I'll go get my watch. We need to time this, I think. I want to I wanna time, maybe I don't need the milliseconds, but I want to time how long it takes the refrigerator to uh, cool down those uh, two packages to, I think we'll, uh, we'll go for five degrees Celsius. That's a normal refrigerator temperature. It might be a bit too cold for the beer. Well, never mind, we will, we'll do it anyway. So um, we'll pop this in the back of the refrigerator. It doesn't power on before I press the buttons over here, so we can do that without any problems. 
So the powering is on the side here and it also says fuse. So there is a fuse here to protect the refrigerator if something bad happens. I think I heard a beep. It should do anything. But it does. Somehow there is power on this and it beeps at me. I am confused about that. But we're not sending power to it yet. So right now we are having 137 watts coming in from the solar panels. As soon as I start the load, it will show the load instead. But I think we will take the phone out oh, and we'll start the start the clock here. Start. Uh, we don't. It's. Uh, let's just admit it's it's whole minutes that we are interested in. So now the DC is on. It's not doing anything, so we should close the LED here. So maybe it activates when that is closed. Nothing yet, so we might have to power it on. 19 degrees, it says. Oh, it moved and it runs. And it tells me the voltage. Oh, can you see this? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Editing Morton will know if you can. So let's try and minus that. What? Minus 20C. No, we need it a bit harder than that. Minus 12. Minus 7. Zero. 5 degrees Celsius. Awesome. And it tells me that the temperature is at 22 degrees Celsius, so it needs to cool that down. And on the power station we can see that it's at the moment drawing 30 watts. That's not bad. We're getting way more in through the solar panels. And down here there is a USB port. I guess you can charge your phone from this. And next to that there is a little hole. And I, I can kind of look in there. There is kind of a reset button in there. Still it says 22C, so I'm guessing that's that the temperature in the box is 22 degrees Celsius. So refrigerator app is installing, open, let's see if we can figure this out. <sighs> yes, it's a good idea for it to use Bluetooth to communicate with the fridge. So it's, uh, it's running good, the temperature is down to 21 degrees. But I can feel that the lead is getting extremely hot, so I think I'm going to move it into the shadow under the table. We cheat a little bit and we move the table into the shadow. Um, right now it's drawing 60 watts, and I do believe that might be what the compressor is, is rated for. And on my phone here, I can keep track of uh, how long I have to wait until my... Uh, Cola and beer uh, reaches five degrees. I do believe that uh, we can go high. I don't know what that does. But let's see if it uh, cools faster. I'm cheating a little bit here and uh, looking in the manual and this down here has absolutely nothing to do with the cooling. It's how, uh, how it protects the battery. If you're running this from your car, you actually want the car to be able to start in the morning. So uh, yeah, it's to protect the battery. So we can put it back to factory default medium here. So it says it here, battery protection mode. And up here it shows us the numbers that if it's in uh, low, medium and high, that's the cut out and cut in and so on and so forth. So yeah. I'll keep getting smarter on this. So far we are uh, 33 minutes in and our drinking uh, bottles has lost 3 degrees. So it's, it's going rather slower than expected. The app is a little bit limited in what it can do. There's not a lot of options here. I was able to change the name of it so I can go and see my fridge. Now it's called my playhouse freezer and you do that on the settings here and you can uh, where is it there 
change the name, change the language, minimum temperature, maximum temperature, units of temperature, Fahrenheit and Celsius, vision and advanced settings, blah, 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 blah. We're not gonna go in there, I don't think we need that. More features could have been here. Wouldn't have been a problem to have some scheduled tasks or something that, well, it would cool during peak solar hours or maybe in the night or like a calendar stuff where it could do different stuff. That would be a really cool thing to do in an app. And we're down to 17 degrees Celsius. It's, it's helping. So now we have decreased our drinks 5 degrees and we are at 51 or 52 minutes. So, uh, yeah, we're moving along. Up here on the display, you can kind of do the same thing. We, it's set to max right now, so it, there is different ways of cooling. So if, if we press the menu here, it clicks max. And there is an option to select Eco mode. There, Eco mode. There, but we'll leave it at max and uh, yeah that way it should cool fastest and it shows still shows me the voltage of the battery that seems to go up and down I have no idea why and when and over here we are still getting power in from the solar panel so actually the power station has gone up in charge not down in charge and we are still using about 60 watts for the refrigerator and here are the panels and at the moment the sun is right on top of them so they should be giving me maximum performance right now okay so the reason that i'm a little bit disappointed with the how long this takes is i saw some youtube videos on these refrigerators but i come to think of it they didn't put anything in the refrigerator they just started it up and i'm cooling down like 20 liters of fluids in here of course it's gonna take longer so my drinks are at the moment at a nice cold 13 degrees and I'm at a nice warm 26 degrees. Well, I can't fit in the refrigerator and it can only heat up to 20 degrees. So there is most definitely a limit to what it can be used for there. Might be able to fill it up with water and use it as a foot bath, but <laughs> yeah, we're still waiting for it to cool down. So while I've been cooling off, so has the cans in the refrigerator. We're down to 11 degrees Celsius. And we can also see the power uses because the all power power station also has a, uh, <laughs> a Bluetooth thinky. So I can uh, sit here with my phone and see power usage and how much uh, power it's, it's taking. So it's right now taking 60, 62, well, between 59 and 63 watts is what I regularly have seen we're getting a hundred watts in and uh, I've charged up the power station while using the refrigerator so uh, so when the Sun is shining you can still do that uh, it's 200 watts of solar panels we do not get 200 watts on 200 watt solar panels here in Denmark uh, it's a rather big system but I'm sure you could well if you had a smaller power station I think that could do it too the smallest power station I have can do 600 watts and this is only drawing like 60 watts so one tenth of that and the power capacity of a power bank like that would also be around five six hundred uh, watt hours so it could run this for somewhere between eight and ten hours so and while rambling we're down to 10 degrees Celsius I had a uh, thorough look at the manual here and I must say this is a piece of crap. <laughs> uh, they make a lot of models of different refrigerators and they have, well, put all of them into this manual which makes it very difficult to figure out what to read for my refrigerator. So like this one has my refrigerator in it which they here call the CL50 but on the box of the refrigerator it says that it's the XC50 but well there's nothing called XC50 here anywhere so well there is the CX50 so is the CX50 the same as the, the C50T 
or the CL50 or the X50. Uh, yeah, I, I think you get my point. There's a lot of stuff here in the manual that applies. Well, all this section here, does that apply to mine? Well, my display layout looks like that one, but the T50, really? And yeah, it's just kind of badly made. Up here it says something awesome, power supply connections. It can do 12 and 24 volts. The AC adapters, 100 to 140 volts using dedicated adapter. Or solar, 12 to 50 volts. Uh, available for some models, uh, but like what models? Does it say anywhere? No, it doesn't say anywhere if my model is included or not. So uh, yeah, really the manual is pretty poorly made so it would be nice if there was not as many models here and they would uh, concentrate on giving me the information of what my refrigerator can do and what I have to look out for. So I have done quite a few sponsored videos lately and one of them is this thermal camera. I don't know if it shows up at all here. It's very t Filming screens outside is impossible, but uh, it might be possible to see that there's a lot of hot stuff coming out the vent here. Very yellow in there, but well, I can kind of see the refrigerator, how it looks, and I can see exactly where it is shaded on the top because that's where it lights up yellow. Uh, I don't see, oh. Uh, there's a little bit of cold here, so where the handle is, it's it's colder. Right here where you open the refrigerator, you can see it's dark down there. And that's because the insulation is thinner right there, so it's, uh, it's a cold spot. It's like 15, 14 degrees down there, it seems. 12 even, maybe. Mm. So, so here is the side of the refrigerator, and if we put the the thermal camera in, in front of it, we can see that where the handle is, oh, let's see, yeah, where the handle is, it's darker, so the temperature is, is lower there, yeah, so definitely you can see with a thermal camera where the temperature is lowest on the refrigerator. So we're now at 10 degrees, and let's just see. We are 2 hours 41 point, about well, 2 hours 42 minutes into the test. And uh, yeah, 5 degrees to go. Hey, we are there. It just cut off. We are at 5 degrees Celsius. So let's go check the stopwatch. There. <laughs> we are at approximately 4 hours to cool down two boxes of cans of, well, I don't think it matters if it's coke or if it's beer. So uh, yeah, four hours, a little bit less. I'm sure if it was in the uh, inside and uh, not in uh, in sun, it would uh, do it a little bit faster. But well, it did it in approximately four hours. So let's just stop that. <laughs> almost, almost exactly four hours. That's very close. And. If we look at, we can see the the power has gone up to 12.7 volts. So the power bank is pumping out 12.7 volts when it's not in use because right now the compressor is not running. There we can see no output. We have a little bit of input, 100 watts there. Oh no, it went down a little bit, but yeah. A compressor fridge doesn't run all the time. Where the coolers without a compressor they tend to run all the time just to keep cold. So it didn't last long, it's already up to seven degrees. So uh, wherever the sensor is in there, uh, went down to five degrees. And now it's, uh, well, the, the liquid has taken some of the coal and yeah, now the, the compressor is running again. I can feel it, but it reached five degrees and it, well, it needs to run some more to be uh, on a stable five degrees. And so here we have a very nice portable freezer. <laughs> it, it, I might have gotten one that was ever so slightly too big. But uh, yeah, there's enough room in there. And it runs very great off of 200 watts of solar panels. 
and a power station and you don't need anything as big as that one so yeah <laughs> and the wheels does drive it so i was able to uh, drive it around but now i'll check if it fits in the car that's a room I do kind of have a station car that is converted into a van, so yeah, there is lots of room for this refrigerator in here. Even has some more coke that I could have put in there. I forgot about those. And in many cars, there is actually a cigarette lighter thingy for just exactly this purpose, to have a refrigerator. Apparently that one is not powered all the time, but only when I'm driving, so that's a shame. So from the end of the car, I would like to say thank you very much to Vivo for wanting to sponsor this video with their mobile refrigerator or car refrigerator, freezer. And well, I didn't get to freeze anything. I think four hours to, uh, to cool down my soda pops and beer was plenty. <laughs> but with a compressor, it should be able to do it. But I really don't want neither frozen beer or coke. So <laughs> would I recommend this one? Maybe? It's a bit big. I thought it would be smaller. I should have looked up how much 50 liters fills up. But yeah, it's a big one. But smaller is available. But the price difference wasn't really very big for a small one and a big one. So I might have gotten a little bit more than I was hoping for. So yeah. I will naturally leave uh, Vivo's links in the description and there might also be some codes and stuff so go check that out. I'm gonna go and cool down somewhere again. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.